morning, students. I'm your anchor, Clarissa De Leon. And I'm your co-anchor, Alexander Tumulip, with your Morning News Live broadcast. Today is Thursday, February 26th, Day 3. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we lift up this day to you. We lift up our fears, our cares, our worries, even our hopes, dreams, and aspirations. We give everything to you knowing that you are God. If we put you first, everything will fall into place. Continue to guide us down the path of righteousness and help us to remember that the truth will set us free. Bless our seniors as they have their morning breakfast with Bishop Larry Silva. In your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Students, please check the student message board by the front office for any urgent messages that the office receives from your parents or guardians. Also a reminder to all seniors that once again the senior courtyard is off limits for the remainder of this week. Anyone caught in the courtyard will be issued a discipline report. Your homework teacher should have showed you a video with the amount of trash found last week. So please you learn to use the trash cans located next to the tables properly. So starting next week, if the courtyard is trashed, you will lose it permanently. Attention Otaku League members. Otaku League meeting will be on Friday at 1.30 p.m. in Mr. Ragus's room, room 204. Come prepared to discuss a kawaii con. Attention all any junior cast and crew, you must, and re-emphasize, must return rehearsals this week and next week. The show opens in just two weeks from now, so your role is important and failure to show makes it difficult for the rest of the cast and crew to rehearse. So if you cannot attend, you must inform Miss Mariva as to why as soon as possible. You all know who you are. If you do not show up, we will announce your names tomorrow and Monday, and all the other days until you are there for all rehearsals. Today at 10.30 a.m. Mod C3, Linfield College will be here to speak with interested juniors and seniors. Located in McMinnville, Oregon, this small school of only 1,700 students have an average class size of 16 students. Although small in number, they have won four NCAA Division III football championships. Find out more if Linfield is the right fit for you. Juniors and seniors, keep yourself occupied in June and July by being a part of Kupu's Gateway Program. Do you love nature and being outdoors and like helping the environment? Then you can sign up. The application deadline is Saturday, February 28th. Go to www.kupuhawaii.org slash HYCC to begin your application. Just a reminder to check the updated free dress list. You may lose your free dress privileges if you have 10 or more absences for the second semester. You may also lose your free pri dress privileges if you have 6 or more tardies for the second semester. Speaking of that, high school students, this is a reminder that absences and tardies mentioned earlier for, will be recorded for every year in high school and it will show up in your transcript. Why is this important to know? Well, many colleges and universities will put this into consideration for their admission decision to their institution. It also shows your commitment to academics and seriousness of continuing your education at the next level. So make a positive change and please start showing up. And that's your morning news. I'm your anchor, Clarissa De Leon. And I'm your co-anchor, Alexander Tumulip, with your morning news live broadcast. Have a great day and a great week and a spirit of joy.